Hey guys, what's up? Carmen Phoenix here. Bang guys, and I caught up on my area deck profile. This time will be for my, and I swear this is my final Luard build. My Luard Gize deck profile. So, I know I've done tons and tons and tons and tons of Luard builds in the past. Um, and by that I mean I did too. And I know I literally did them like back to back without any break, really, between them. So, I promise you guys, this is my final Luar build for now. Um, I just figured we'll take the best deck in, well, one of the best decks in the game right now. And one of the best engines in the game, well, the best engine in the game right now, and throw them together. So, yeah, let's go ahead and go over it. So. Um, you'll notice that we only have 59 cards in the main deck here, uh, for, I'm, I'm sorry, you'll notice you only have 59 cards in the Shadow Paladin clan here, one in Kagero, one in Dark Regular, one in the Mass Collection, one in Aqua Force, one in Mega, Mega Colony, and one in Kagero. Uh, that's just because they're all the different Xerox Dragons, but anyway, for our starter, we're running one copy of Neon Gize. Um, this card has a lot of skills, so let's just run down the list. Auto. When this unit is ridden, put this card into your G zone. It does not count towards generation break. Continuous in your G zone. The power increase from your trigger effects changes to choose up to one Xerath Dragon from your G zone and bind it face up. So you still get whatever effect of the trigger you have, you just don't get the power. In continuous in the G zone, your Xerox Dragon in the Bind Zone cannot be moved to another location. And Ultimate Stride, Dragon Deity of Destruction Gize. And it just, um, and it's basically just like a normal Ultimate Stride, only you gotta have a special condition of having at least five Xerox Dragons in your Bind Zone. Um, then you choose a card with the same name as your Vanguard and discard it. And you remove all the cards on your other circles in your soul and G zone. And return this card face down and stride it on your Vanguard circle. And then you just delete it. Uh, you like hover over the card and press the delete button to flip it from Neon Gize to uh, the Dragon Data Destruction Gize. So, with that being said, um, we'll get into the actual main man himself later on. Um, but, yeah, it's just a double-sided card, I'll go ahead and show you right now. When you're hovering over it, you just press tab, boom, no tap, 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 no tap, tap, no tap, tap, no tap, anyway. So, yeah, moving on. We have our, uh, other than this, other than the Xerox Dragon slash Gize engine, it's just your regular Lord build. Um, we're running four copies of Belly Owl, because this card's busted. And then we're up, well, I'm sorry, I should go to our chair line. I'm running four stand, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, four crit, eight stand, four heal. So, of course, the four belly owl, because this card's busted. Four copies of Curse Eye Raven, just because this card's really good. Probably the best stand in the game, honestly. Four copies of Demon Eye Mage Ulcer. Um, this card is also very good. And again, I've gone over all these cards in my... Uh, of the two Luar decks, so you can just go check them out, um, but anyway. Besides that, we also have our heal trigger, which is the same bind heal Arl, but there's, anyway. So there's that, it's our good Duralan. We want to upgrade ones, two copies of Durad, because Dragon to Durad is just a free draw. Um, your ideal superior call off of your drag ball, and if not, him, then you're gonna want her. Farminanch. Farminash, or how you pronounce it. Um, so there's that. I guess also Abyssal Owl. It's just, it's not as good because you don't get the on, on call skill, but whatever. Um, we have four, speaking of which, we have four Abyssal Owl. Just to search out, make sure you get the correct grade 3 ride. And it also is good for counter charging. And then, um, you just, you know, it's just good because with Belly Owl, you draw with Abyssal Owl, you counter charge. So, 
Um, yeah, there's that. Moving on, we have the four copies of Parmenage. Um, activate from the hand, discard this card, and choose one of your real guards to the ritual, but I retire it. I'm, I'm sorry, rest it, draw a card. And continuous on the real guard circle, generation break two, ritual five. If you have a grade, grade four Vanguard, Lou Arden, it's card name. This unit, this unit doubles in power and gains resist. Um, of course, it only works at the end of the turn because you're going to have a grade four Lou Arden, but it doesn't really matter. Um, it's just to get you there. That's it for grade ones. Move on to the grade twos. Not much has changed, honestly. The four dog, Dogta, Jack Bunch of Dogta is just your ideal main ride target, really. Because you don't want to ride into anything else. The four more festive because this card's amazing. And four slap till dragon because, again, this card's as amazing. It's just less amazing than the more festive because it's a bit harder to get off the requirements. This is going to be an all time uh, grade one as long as you're at GB. This is only GB. Grade one. This is only at, going to be a grade one if you are at, uh, during your turn. So there's that. Great to know, still the same as usual. Um, so that's it for our grade two and three lineup and our entire main deck lineup. Moving on to our extra deck. One Am Aminus Power Dragon and one Dark Dragon Carnivore Dragon. Same reason as always. This is, of course, going to be your first stride. Um, the two copies of Drag Strider Luard, and the two copies of Drag Abyss Luard. I've been told to cut something, probably the two Drag Striders for two copies of Drag Abyss. Honestly, I don't know why. Um, I like this just as, I like the two Luard, uh, the two Drag Strider Luards, because if I have to GSS, I will usually reveal one Lu Drag Strider and one, and, and get rid of my Amnesty pile. So I can stride into this, have one YG Guardians, and still have both of my Drag Abysses. Plus, I can go into this in the late game if I want to. For the Guard Restrict, and the Extra Critical. Um, plus, it's a Crawl Drive with a crit, and you can't Perfect Guard or above. It's just amazing, honestly. Um, that being said, I totally see his point. Um, shout out to GGT, the Golden Time. Um, you can go check him out. Um, he's amazing. Um, on top of that, you should be running at least two copies of Dark Dragon Phantom Blast with Diablo. This card's really only good for the mirror match, but at the same time, if you're in the mirror match, it's like an auto win, basically. But at the same time, it's very good, so there's that. Um, as for the rest, we're just running this one... Ultima, one of the other Seraph Dragons, like one one Drachma, one Megiddo, one Ultima, of course, one Zoa, one one Stark, and one Dust, and of course these are so those are the Seraph Dragons, and finally we're running two Plant Maker and two Dark Veil, vale, like usual. Anyway, guys, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for the deck profile. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll replay soon. That being said, I've been your host, Cardmaster Phoenix, signing out. See you guys next time. Have a good one.